Well, Charlotte is seeing its community of new small businesses growing. Certainly can be an exciting time for business owners, but also a stressful one if they're not careful when applying for a new business loan. WCNC Charlotte's Jane Monreal sharing some of the pitfalls of obtaining a new loan. So you don't start your new business venture asking, where's the money? According to the U.S. Small Business Administration, we've seen a 62% increase in small business loans since 2019. You've got a couple new businesses, I think two or three, as well as myself that have all opened um, over the last year or so. So I don't think it's going to stop anytime soon. Elijah McCoy is a commercial mortgage broker aiming to help entrepreneurs obtain loans for their business ventures. This is the stage where poorly prepared business owners can get fleeced. By not having your, your ducks in a row, you're vulnerable. Oh, okay. uh, a lot of times what scammers do, they'll say, you may see, you may get an email, text, or call. Uh, quick, apply for a loan. We're giving a 2% rate, a 1% rate. Hurry, hurry, hurry. When in fact, McCoy says, a typical loan takes 30 to 60 days to finalize. We just need your date of birth, social security. There goes the catch. Needs your date of birth, social security, address. They're trying to get your information to go do whatever they're doing or open up stuff in your name. Casey Hickey, co-owner of a chocolate and wine shop, says she's grateful for her new business loan. Now she and her husband are getting ready to move Petite Philippe to a building they now own. But it means that we're paying ourselves. We're investing in ourselves instead of investing in a big corporation. Everybody wins. Our entire country wins when small businesses succeed. McCoy says, just remember if it seems too good to be true, it probably is. Rates right now are starting at 3.125. So someone telling me something is available at 1%, it's all baloney. McCoy says legit lenders are going to want to look at your business plan income projections, check your credit worthiness, and they'll also want to see if you have a secondary source of repayment. Scammers won't bother with those things, which is another red flag. In Charlotte, Jane Monreal, WCNC Charlotte.